Hey guys, Ryan Hodge here, and I wanted to say thank you for everybody that extended uh, warm congratulations to Sandra and myself for 10 years as the realty firm, as a brokerage. Uh, what a privilege to celebrate with some of our special clients that we you know, have worked with since day one, over 15 years in, in real estate sales. Uh, our over 100 amazing members who continue to serve and support uh, all of the markets that we're a part of, which is London and St. Thomas, Woodstock, Ingersoll, Kitchener, Waterloo, Huron, Perth, and all over, uh, even Sarnia now. So we continue to grow, but we want to grow with the right people. Uh, we were also fortunate to welcome some of our key supporters as well, which was just, you know, a fantastic time the other evening. Um, I'll certainly send and, you know, share some insight on the business perspective when we you know, approach the mark, which is September 3rd, 2023. Uh, it's hard to believe that 10 years flies by so quickly. And what I share is that despite a lot of the, you know, celebrations and things that, you know, come along with it, there's also always, you know, challenges. And challenges that, you know, are always present, uh, that we have to navigate through. And I share this, you know, leading up to our event on Thursday, um, we had, you know, specific deadlines to pay our insurance. And prior to that deadline, I had a couple members uh, of our organization indicate that they would be exiting real estate because they're just having that challenge. You know, they're having the challenge of selling more real estate. And that is a challenge that people are having across North America right now. And so what I want to lend insight to is that in any market, you can have success in any market, you can have failure in any business, you can have success in any business, you can have, you know, failure. And I don't want people that exit the business to look at, you know, things as a failure. But I do believe that part of business and part of the commitment inside of real estate for those that do want to have, you know, success, fulfillment, happiness, freedom, creating all those great results that they desire, it's going to come down to not giving up and correcting the course when needed. I said it last year going into 2023 that there were going to be a lot of agents that struggled as they moved into 2023 and beyond because of the changes in the market, because of you know how they perceive you know the impact of interest rates, because of you know all the different things that have come up in terms of you know not necessarily being um, in an easier business, which certainly was easy in the last few years for all things considered when you look at, you know, how to sell a house. I don't want to minimize the impact that, you know, this market has had, but I share that there are people that are absolutely thriving in this market. There are people that are having their best years ever in this market. There are people that I work with on the coaching side, inside of my company, uh, including my sales team that are at the top of their game when it comes to real estate sales, servicing their clients, attracting more clients and, you know, nurturing those, nurturing those clients into, you know, wonderful opportunities, you know, and that's really what real estate is. How do we help people have amazing opportunities, whether you're in the leadership space, the training space, um, or the sales space, we want to create opportunities and we want to reciprocate by providing an opportunity for somebody to buy or sell a house or have a thriving real estate career. If you are not where you're at, I encourage you not to give up, not to quit. There are many, many mechanisms of support, whether it's a change in your brokerage environment from a competent leader that's relevant, that's not complacent, and that is available. Two, from considering coaching in terms of people that have actually done it versus those that 100% have never sold a house. And I'm not saying that they won't lend value, but come on. When we really look at who we're going to learn and grow from, has the person that you want to learn from actually created the results that you desire? There's some real consideration in that statement. And I'll continue to put out that message. Also, have you thought about joining a sales team? a team that you know aligns with your personality, aligns with your vision, and perhaps aligns with what it is that you wanna create. Focusing on net profit, okay? Your net profit in terms of the revenue that you want to create, because I'm hearing stats like the average realtor across North America is gonna sell three homes 
in 2023. And I don't think 2024 is gonna be much different. So if you're only selling a few homes right now, but you feel that you have the capacity to do a lot more, be a lot more, but you're just not sure where to turn, instead of giving up or carrying on with that madness, what about connecting with a team that you know you feel good around? You're gonna have closer proximity to leadership. You're gonna be provided with systems, marketing, lead flow, leads, clients, you know, all of these opportunities that make things easier. And I get it. You probably didn't get into real estate because you said, you know what, I wanna join a team. But a team can be a great opportunity to transition from, you know, a brand new agent or struggling independent agent to you know, going through that process with proven results, with proven leadership, with proven methods and strategies, and then leaning into the potential to, you know, go back into independent from what you learned after a period of time. And so focus on that net profit, focus on your net results, because getting around some different people versus just staying where you think, you know, you need to be, might just be your next catalyst to change and that tiny change, albeit, you know, I get it, it might seem like a big one, could really, really open some big doors and big opportunities. So thanks again for being with us at the Realty Firm for 10 years plus, uh, certainly Sandra and myself for 15 years plus in our sales business. And if you're struggling um, in any which way, by all means, reach out. If we can serve and support you at any level, we are happy to anytime. Have an amazing one. We'll talk real soon.